Hey guys, so I want to talk to you today about the tongue piercing process, um, the healing process, not the, the piercing itself. Um, I will have my video up soon. It's really long, so it kind of like aborts it like every time, it like rejects it. So I don't know how long it'll take me to get that uploaded. And the fact that it's not on this computer and it's on my mom's camera and blah blah blah. But um, yeah, I want to tell you what the healing process is of it. Um. I lasted about two weeks with it, and the first week it's supposed to be over, it's supposed to be perfectly healed, and all that, so day one, it doesn't hurt, <laughs> like, day one's like nothing, um, the person that's helped us hurt, I'm not gonna lie, it matters all in how much pain that you can handle, but it does hurt, but afterwards, yeah, go ahead and eat, and it's kind of hard to eat regular food, like, the guy told me, said, like, go ahead and go to checkers and order, like, a Double cheeseburger or something on the fry and whatever. And it's like, well, the bar is like really big. I'm not trying to scare you, like it's like that big. Um, no, but it's it it kind of juts your mouth. You can like open, you can feel it, like up there and down here. You can you can definitely feel it. So yeah, it's not that as easy as he thinks it is to eat. Um, also with that bar, if you try to eat, you know your tongue goes to the side of your mouth. The bar is gonna tilt. And you're gonna bite down on it, and that's gonna hurt. So no, I recommend soup. Um, or blending your food. Sounds disgusting. I didn't blend my food. You can't suck out a straw for one, and it's hard to stick a spoon in your mouth because you'll hit the bar. And that just feels weird. It doesn't hurt. It just feels weird. So I suggest you drink your soup in the cup, or drink that out of the bowl. Whatever you want to do. So soup is basically your diet for like a week. Makes you lose weight. It's kind of nice. I lost seven pounds. Just to let you know. But, um, back to what was important. Um, the second day. Oh my gosh. That the day it swells up like a balloon. Now, what was weird about mine is it didn't really swell at all. It did swell for only a little bit. What happened? Yeah? Yes. No butter for your shrimp and garlic? Or yeah. your shrimp and crab? Yeah. You want garlic in it? Or regular butter? Regular? You know, I like regular, but mom likes garlic in her butter. Yeah. Regular? Regular. I that was about butter. Who knows? Now I want to show you my tongue rings. Hold on one second. Hello. Uh. There. Where? Where is that? Hello? Yeah, I do. Um, hold on one second. Let me call you right back. Anyways, okay, so this is what the, I'm just going to take it out of the packaging. This is what the barbell looks like when you get the smaller size. This is, I don't really know what size this is. Also, when they tell me they like instantly gauge it to like a 14, I think. That's what these are all sized. Is that, that's like the size of the needle. Also, it's a hollow needle, so, um, yeah, they take out quite a bit of your tongue. Don't freak out, you really don't notice. Um, my tongue isn't pierced. No piercing, but I'm getting it pierced. I really want it pierced. Like, I missed it so much. I kind of don't want to go through the pain again, but mine, um, I think it had an electric reaction. I'm not sure, but it, like, it was disgusting. Like, mine still hurt after two weeks. I couldn't eat. Um, it still felt, like, sore. Like, it always felt like it was ripping or something. Like, one, my, my, like, tongue thing was, like, on the side, the right side of my mouth. And it was also like this. It was like that. So, I don't even know. So, when I had that long bar, 
imagine two weeks having it like that in your mouth like is that not like weird so that got kind of annoying um so yeah so i take mine out and the swelling instantly went down like at school um, i was in third period and it started swelling swelling like at rapid speeds <laughs> it was really bad but after a week you should be able to eat regular food i can eat regular food but i'd like take my tongue could like stick it to one side and then put the stuff the food in and chew and that kind of sucked and you shouldn't have to do that at all so you should be able to eat after a week if you notice you can't um give it a bit but if you notice like some weird stuff around it um it's infected most likely or if there's like my whole tongue turned white and like my taste buds like bubbled up around it sounds disgusting but um that means it's like rejecting metal and this has happened with all of my piercings my nose i grew a bump on my nose my lip um i don't know what happened it just got infected i think but it like rejected it so my lip my nose and now my tongue all piercings are gone the only piercings i've left are my ears i have two holes in my ears so yeah it kind of it kind of sucks because i love piercings so yep so that's my thing about piercings. I want to show you my tongue rings. This one's really pretty. So there's that one. And there's this one. It's kind of like zebra. It's really pretty. So yeah. I hear acrylic are a lot more comfortable. But like the day that I took it out, like it instantly closed. And it's supposed to like, if it healed properly when I took it out, it probably would have taken like the amount that I had it in to close, not like five minutes. And since it was really um, like gross, um, it hurt to eat. This is the acrylic. They're really pretty. I love them a lot. So let's see. And I have a ton of these crap one of these acrylics <sighs> so this is not the size that being enough I'm getting it repaired so it's, I don't know I probably could have maybe I could like get it pierced with this acrylic and it probably wouldn't reject it because it's plastic so I don't know we'll see about that well I just want to let you know about the tongue piercing tongue healing process so you guys good luck oh kitten wants to say hi hold on one sec okay here's jesus <laughs> doesn't like to be home at all but he says hello there there 